In this neutralization reaction, we have perchloric acid plus calcium hydroxide. Let's balance the equation by counting up the atoms first. We have one hydrogen, plus be careful we have a hydrogen here times the two. So two times that one, we have two hydrogens there. It gives us three chlorines, we have just the one. Oxygen, we have four, plus this two applies to everything in parentheses, two times the one, so two oxygens there. That gives us six and one calcium. On the product side, we have the two hydrogens in the H2O. Chlorines, we have two times the one, so two of those. Oxygens, two times four, that's eight, plus we have one oxygen here, so we have a total of nine oxygens and then the one calcium. Let's leave the oxygens and then the hydrogens till last. Let's do the chlorines first. We'll put a two right here, and then we need to update these numbers. One times two plus these two here, that'll give us four hydrogens. One times the two, that's the two chlorines. So we balance the chlorines. The oxygens, two times four, that's eight, plus two times the one, that's two there. So now we have 10, and the calciums, those are the same. At this point, it looks like if we balance the water, we have four here and two here for the hydrogens. So we could put a two here. That should fix the hydrogens, and it might even fix the oxygens. Let's try that. We have the two times the two. That gives us four. The hydrogens are balanced. And let's update the oxygens. For the oxygens, we have two times four. That's our eight plus one times the two. That gives us 10. And now this equation is balanced. So the key here, make sure you count up your hydrogens and your oxygens correctly because you have them in these two compounds. And then it's usually a good idea to leave the oxygens to last when you're balancing equations. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HClO4 plus CaOH2. Thanks for watching.